Let's find the surface area of this prism. Clean up first. Take any flat polygon. Wait, what's a polygon? A polygon basically boils down to having a bunch of dots and lines connecting them. It's a little more detailed than that, but we'll talk about regular polygons, the ones that you'll encounter frequently in this video. It's linked below. Take your polygon and after you stretch it out, that's how you get a prism. If it's a rectangular prism, it's just a rectangle that you stretch up. <laughs> What about an oblique prism? An oblique prism is one that you push to the side, not push, push. To calculate the surface area of any of these prisms, you have to take each individual side and calculate its area and then slap it all together by way of addition and Bob's your uncle. In other words, add up all the different surface areas. Let's find the surface area of this prism. Let's look at the big triangle prism, 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 prism. It's big. Okay, smash it down. We have two of the big triangles and five of the little squares. We already discussed that the little square has an area of nine square inches. Well, five of those turkeys, that's 45 square inches. Let's park that. The big triangle, its area is one half base times height. Now the base is three inches and the height is five and a half inches. So half of three, times 5.5. .5. When you do that, you get eight and a quarter or 8.25 square inches. Woohoo! But how many of these triangles do you have? You have two of them, so you gotta double it. When you double it, you get 16.5 square inches. 16 and a half square inches. <laughs> You're gonna add that back to that number we parked earlier. Do you remember? 45 square inches. That's the total surface area here of this triangular prism. 45 and 16 and a half. Bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle. That's 61 and a half square inches. That's your surface area, 61.5 square inches. Who benefits from knowing how to calculate the surface area of a prism? Well, that list includes architects, manufacturers, and others. And even if you're not one of those, you can still watch these videos. And if you need full length episodes, or guides, or curriculum, and many other bonuses. Ask your guardian or parent how. See you next time, God bless. Let's find the surface area of this little triangle prism, prism, prism. Don't forget the echo effect. If you haven't already watched the video on area, you need to stop right now and go watch it. Let's assume you've watched it. Great, the area of this little triangle, we need to know it. Because when we smash down the little triangle prism, we see that we have two of the little triangles and three of the squares. Oh, but we already know what the area of this little square is. It's three inches by three inches. Again, because you watched the previous videos. So that's nine square inches, inches, inches. And you have how many of them? Three. So let's park this three nines or 27 square inches. But you also have to count the area of the triangles. You have two of those triangles. What is the area of the little triangle? Glad you asked. We already talked about this in the video about the area, but a quick rundown might look like this. One half times the base times the height. The base of the little triangle is three inches and the height is two and a half inches. So one half times three times two and a half. That's your triangle's area. What does that work out to be? Good news, it's an easy answer three and three quarters or 3.75 square inches. And how many of these are we dealing with? Two. So you double 3.75, boom, you get 7.5 square inches. You're gonna add that back to the areas of the squares, 27 square inches, remember we parked it? And now 27 and seven and a half give you a whopping 34.5. Wow, look at that turkey, 34.5 square inches. That is the surface area of the little triangle prism. And Bob's your uncle. It's time for an instant review. 